Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Old School. We are taking a look at Ski Free. This was a Windows 3.1 game originally, I think. That's the, that's the thing I played it on first. And it came in a little thing called the Best of the Entertainment Pack, which the games were all sold separately or might have been bundled together with your Windows. Ugh. One of those. Anyways, so you have this little section at first where you do either tricks, you can do the slalom on the right side there. That's what I, I always pick that, on, you know, I, why not do the freestyle? All you can really do here is um, trick and do backflips, really. That's, you know, backflips. I don't, I don't think that there's any other tricks except backflips. And you do them by clicking. And you got to click three times, I believe. Oh, yeah. So the rocks, you can jump off of them. You just got to jump on them. Um, there's some trees that don't have any branches, if I can find them somewhere. Uh, there's a couple there that I just passed with. Here you go. Here, I'll, I'll do this one. Oh, or not. So I do like playing this game with the, the, the mouse, but maybe you get the more precise controls with a keyboard, because then I can do this. Whee! And then uh, I'll go bother this dog really quick. Oh, God. Get over here. Get over here, dog. So I'll just go in front of him, because the dogs pee sometimes when you hit him. Nope, he's just sitting down and, and saying woof. Woof! That's that's what dogs do. They woof. Alright, so there you go, you see, I, I just jumped through that rock and... Hoop! Come on! I don't... Oh! <laughs> um, let's see, I'll go do this tree here. So, yeah, this this game was just stupid fun. It I, would, I wouldn't call it a good game, but... Uh, it was fun, is what it was. And then there you go. Trees on fire for some reason. I'm going too fast, man. Blazing through them trees. Um, what else? What else is there? Like, there's the, the abominable snowman is in this. And uh, they were really hard to get away from. So hard that when I was a kid, I had no idea how to do it. And I just actually learned it not that long ago. I mean, maybe like four or five years ago. Which uh, is pretty long time ago. But uh, compared to how much I played this when I was a kid... Uh, no, that five years is not a lot because I played this game for probably more than five years. So, um, jumping makes you go faster. That that's obvious. But um, you can push F and then you go. You just bomb down the hill and then look. Uh, abominable snowman! Ah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Okay, let's go to the tree slalom. I don't know what the difference between both of them is. Maybe this one has trees, so you just gotta do this as fast as you can, and you get a high score at the end, and then um, yeah. That, that's about it. You just slalom. And I guess, oh! I guess I could go push F, but then I missed that one. Just makes it harder. Oh, hit the tree. So I, I feel like if you put your mouse cursor closer to your character, you'll have more precise controls, but also you'll turn it really fast and too fast sometimes, like that. Like, I'm not, I don't need to go there. I don't need, ah! Oh, there you go. I just did like a, a little 180 move, so you can spin in the air too. Oh, trees. That's what they mean by tree slalom. There's trees everywhere. Oh, man. I love how the, the the physics on this fast stuff, it's like you can actually see him sliding side to side when you turn like that. Finish, yay, a minute 19. Hey, that's that's my favorite number, 119. If you see a wall mat 119 somewhere, that's me. If you see a wall mat somewhere, probably me as well. So yeah, this game doesn't have any sound. Um, we'll take a look at some other games in the BoEP series. Uh, that's the best of entertainment pack. That's what BOEP stands for. God damn it, these trees, man. Um, I, I forget how to jump with the keyboard. Like, I'm pushing buttons here. I honestly don't remember. I thought it was spacebar. And, uh, oh, God, there's two. Oh, my God. They're so impossible to get by. Um, I know you can get, like, a score at the end and the level changes. But uh, I've never done that personally. I, I, that's why I want to beat these snowmen. But I think I might just end it there because it, it just kind of repeats over and over. It, it's the same game every time you play it, really. Here, let's just go as fast as I can down the hill, see if we can get past those snowmen, and we'll call it a, a old school here. Our first Windows 3.1 game on the show. I guess I guess there's uh, Alone in the Dark ran on Windows 3.1. I never got it working on it. I, I always played it on, uh, on DOS. So I'm just going to bomb the hill here, and uh, hopefully I'll be good. Okay, nothing, nothing below you. Nothing, nothing's there. You're good to go. Turn a little bit. 
no, no, keep the fast on. You got to get past those snowmen. Don't, don't jump. Don't jump unless you need to. Because that snowman will get me. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Oh, man. Do you, oh, God, and he's right there. Oh, and there's trees. There's trees in the way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, well, I got past. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, well. There you go. That does it. That was ski-free. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys tomorrow.